Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different, which is a brand new video series that I'm starting called Size for the Right Price. This includes all home studio equipment because the whole idea behind this video series is trying to find the best equipment for your home studio setup, focusing on MIDI keyboards, monitors, microphones, etc. Because I know for many of us out there, we don't have enough space for an 88 key MIDI keyboard or 8 inch monitor and we don't even have our own space for our own home studio setup but I don't want you to neglect your music in any way so with this video series I hope to help you set up the best home studio that you can set up for your specific scenario Today's video topic is going to be mainly focused on MIDI keyboards and I'm going to go through all the sizes from 25 keys to 49 keys to 61 keys to 88 keys and I've actually picked the top three as well for each of those MIDI keyboard sizes just to help you make that final decision of the best MIDI keyboards out there for the specific size you're looking for in your specific home studio setup. Starting off with the 25 key MIDI keyboards, these are MIDI keyboards that are mainly for people that are on the go, that are portable, that are mainly beat makers, that aren't too focused on the key size for piano no playing and things like that or you maybe just don't have enough space in your home studio setup and you're looking for something small to be productive with and be creative with. These 25 key MIDI keyboards are the best and the top three for me and the three that I've picked consist of the Novation Launch Key Mini MK3, the Akai MPK Mini MK2 and the Arteria Mini Lab MK2. Starting off with the Novation Launch Key Mini MK3. Developed primarily for Ableton users and newly updated, this pocket powerhouse is just brimming with features, many of which were missing from the previous version, including, finally, pitch bend and modulation touch strips, a hardware mini out on a TRS jack, an incredibly flexible and versatile appreciator, a chord memory feature, and a great deal sweetening software bundle. Of course, the Launch Key Mini MK3 isn't exclusive to Ableton, as it plays perfectly nicely with other doors too, but if you're a live user, it undoubtedly represents the best solution at this price point. The next 25 key MIDI keyboard that we're going to be looking at is the Akai MPK Mini MK2. As far as MIDI keyboards go, the Akai MPK Mini MK2 is an oldie but a goodie, still hanging in there at the top of the sale charts after 5 years, and for good reason. Akai have pitched the MPK Mini MK2 perfectly between breadth of features, portability, build quality, and affordability. Standout features include the 4-way joystick for pitch bend and modulation, the built-in appreciator and note repeat functions, generous provision of knobs and fantastic feeling MPC style pads. Equally at home as a small lightweight MIDI controller to slip into your laptop bag when on the move or for controlling software instruments and plugins in a studio setting. The MPK Mini MK2 wraps everything up in an affordable practical package. And the final MIDI keyboard that we're going to be looking at in terms of 25 key MIDI keyboards is the Arteria Mini Lab MK2. If you're looking for a cost effective entry into Arteria's Analog Lab suite of vintage analog synth emulations, look no further than the Mini Lab MK2 MIDI controller. Like all Arteria gear, the Mini Lab MK2 is a good looking, well built, and functional MIDI controller, with those 16 encoders providing plenty of scope for tweaking the 500 Analog Lab Virtual Vintage Synth presets in ships, where the encoders are automatically assigned to the most relevant parameters for each sound. Weighing in at only 1.5 kilograms, its compact footprint means that it passes the laptop bag test easily. And while equally at home at the centerpiece of your studio, it's obviously solidly built enough to withstand being hefted about from place to place. Moving on to 49 key MIDI keyboards, I'm looking at people that have a more settled home studio setup where you have a decent amount of space on your desk where you can actually take a 49 key MIDI keyboard, have fun with it, have decent keys for the first time because like I said, 25 key MIDI keyboards don't have decent keys in terms of size where 49 key MIDI keyboards is the first step to that. You still get all the drum pads you need to be productive and creative, but you aren't as portable unfortunately. You are portable enough to put it in your car and things like that but in terms of being on the go with a backpack or something like that 49 keys is not the way to go but if you are more settled in your home studio like I said earlier 49 keys are probably the best MIDI keyboard size to go for. The top three 49 MIDI keyboards that I've picked for this list is M Audio's Oxygen 49, Novation Launch Key USB 49 and Arteria Keylab Essentials 49. Starting us off with M Audio's Oxygen 49 USB. Now in the fourth iteration, M-Audio's Oxygen MIDI controllers have always been popular, 
all three versions actually, the 25, 49 and 61 key versions, offering a great compromise between features, key range and price. Compared to the Keystation 61, with the 49 you may be losing an octave, but you're gaining much more in terms of functionality. If hardware controls are more important to you than an expansive range of keys, the Oxygen 49 makes a great compromise. With an impressive array of knobs, buttons and sliders, dedicated door transport controls and 8 premium field drum pads, this compact yet powerful MIDI controller should have you covered. The next 49 key MIDI keyboard on this list is Novation Launch Key's USB 49. The Novation Launch Key 49 MK2 is a lightweight and versatile keyboard controller, purposely built for integration with Ableton Live, but useful for any kind of computer or iOS based production. Featuring the velocity sensitive RGB lid pads from Novation's Launchpad grid controllers, faders, and a bank of 8 macro knobs for parameter control, the Launch Key gives you everything you need to mix tracks, tweak effects, program beats, and perform live. The 16 backlit pads provide two-way feedback, so integration with Ableton is seamless. Whether you're triggering samples, playing drums, or launching clips, while the 49 synth action keys let you control all your software synths and samplers. Whether you're building rap beats, adding electronic elements to indie rock tracks, or writing the next EDM hit, the Launch Key 49 MK2 is an excellent production tool in any home studio setup. The final 49 key MIDI controller that I've picked for this top 3 list is Arteria's Keylab Essential 49. The Arteria Keylab 49 Essential is a universal MIDI controller and software package that features 49 synth action velocity sensitive keys, a clickable encoder, 9 additional encoders, 9 sliders, 8 touch and pressure sensitive pads, 6 transport control switches, 4 command switches, a modulation wheel, a pitch bend wheel. This is really just a great MIDI keyboard. The system is designed to provide one-on-one -on -one control of the included Analog Lab 2 Synth software, Ableton Live Lite, and UVI Grand Piano Model D software, as well as any MIDI controllable plugin or door. It can be customized to other softwares using the downloadable MIDI Controller Center software. What's more, the Keylab Essential utilizes MCU and HUI protocols for its door command center, which offers seamless control well beyond standard MIDI allowing you to control your door software on any platform. Moving on to 61 key MIDI keyboards. These MIDI keyboards are more for people that are really settled in their home studio setup. I don't even have a 61 key MIDI keyboard and I'm really settled with a 49 key MIDI keyboard. But if you're someone that plays piano and you really like into having a lot more keys and things like that, 61 keys is the way to go. It's not a very popular MIDI keyboard size out there to be honest, but it's really nice for people that like playing piano and need more keys to be creative. And the first MIDI keyboard that I've picked for the top three best 61 key MIDI keyboards out there in 2020 is the Novation Launch Key USB 61 MK2. This latest generation of Launch Key is Novation's most focused MIDI keyboard controller for Ableton Live. It's the quickest and easiest way to produce and perform electronic music because it's designed specifically for the purpose. Just plug in via USB and the keys, faders, knobs and pads immediately give you hands-on control of your grid, instruments, effects and the mixer. Of course, if you don't use Ableton, it will map to other major music softwares too, using in control. The next 61 key MIDI keyboard that I've picked for this top 3 list is the Alesis V61. The Alesis V61 is a powerful intuitive MIDI controller that lets you take command of your computer's music software without giving up your capacity for dynamic performances. With 61 full-size velocity sensitive keys and octave up down buttons, you can expand the keyboard to the full melodic range and play bass lines, chords and melodies. And the final MIDI keyboard that 61 keys that I've picked for this top 3 list that is just fantastic is the Native Instruments Complete Control S61 MK2. The Complete Control S61 MK2 is a smart MIDI keyboard controller that offers pre map control of NI's complete instruments and any third party plugins that support the NKS standard. In comparison to its predecessor, the Complete Control MK2 also adds two high resolution color screens along with 17 additional function buttons. There's a tighter door and machine integration too, making it possible to mix, navigate, and edit projects from the hardware. You can do so much more from the device itself, with better visual feedback and much deeper levels of integration front and center of its workflow. If you're already webbed to the complete software package, nothing will help you work with it as musically as Complete Control MK2. 
And finally, moving on to 88 key MIDI keyboards. If you're someone that's looking to buy an 88 key MIDI keyboard, please be a piano player. Otherwise, you are wasting your time and your money because as a beat maker, you only really need 25 keys. If you have a 49 key MIDI keyboard, you're pretty much around in the middle getting everything you need. Same with the 61 key MIDI keyboard, but that's already a little bit of an overkill. And an 88 key MIDI keyboard for someone that doesn't play piano and just produces and makes music is a little bit of an overkill. But if you do want it go for it and if you are a piano player it's definitely the keyboard size you should be looking at but anyway the first 88 key MIDI keyboard that I've picked for my top three list is the Nectar Impact Alex 88 Plus MIDI keyboard Today's buyers of keyboard controllers are spoiled for choice, but if you're looking for a full-size 88 node MIDI controller, said choices are more limited. One great option is Nectar's Impact Alex 88 Plus, which combines an 88 key semi-weighted USB powered keyboard with extensive door control via 9 sliders, 9 buttons, 8 knobs, 8 pads and transport controls. Despite the number of features, the Alex 88 Plus is reasonably compact and light enough to be portable. What's more? The keys feel good and the mechanical noise is quite low. The Alex 88 Plus won't suit everyone and some 88 key users will be after a full weighted hammer action, but at this price it's a bargain and well worth testing. The next 88 key MIDI keyboard that I've picked for this list is the Arteria Keylab Essential 88. Creating music in a digital world can be difficult. So many options, so many new things to learn. But the Keylab Essential lets you focus on what's important. 8 pads, 9 rotaries, 9 faders and an expressive keyboard, but so, so much more. Music is at the heart of this controller. Every aspect of Keylab Essential has been carefully chosen to give you the best possible experience when creating and performing. Keylab Essential makes navigating inside your recording software a breeze, thanks to the dedicated door command center, and makes browsing your presets an exciting and inspiring experience. Spend less time with the keyboard and mouse and more time creating and performing and just playing. And finally, I've left the best for last, the best 88 key MIDI keyboard out there for any home studio setup, any home studio producer, anybody in general. Pretty much the holy grail of MIDI keyboards is Native Instruments Complete Control S88 MK2. The S88 MK2 is impressive both technologically and physically, solidly built and elegant in appearance, with a keyboard that is a pleasure to play. While focusing one's attention on the S88 rather than the mouse and screen, it's a very different way of working that may not appeal to everyone. There are many advantages to this approach, not least of which is speedy navigation though, a potential labyrinth of sounds and instant tweakability once you get there. Inevitably, you will have to address the computer and mouse at times, particularly when dealing with anything not in case compatible. But it's worth checking out your instrument armory regularly for updates, as more and more products are entering the NKS fold. At the end of the day, this is just a fantastic MIDI keyboard, and in my opinion, the best of the best that you could get right now. So that's the end of this first video of my new video series, Size for the Right Price. And if you guys think this video was helpful to you, comment down below, let me know how it helped you. If you guys want me to make more of these videos, let me know down below as well. And if you enjoyed this video and you think you found exactly what you were looking for in terms of your home studio equipment for your home studio setup, give it a like. And if you loved it, subscribe down below and I will see you for another video next time. See, I